This morning at about 7 a.m. with the assistance of the Oakland Police Department SWAT team, San Leandro Police Department served a search and arrest warrant on Paul Arthur Stevenson III, 20-year-old Oakland resident. Uh, this, the warrant service occurred in the 1900 block of 21st Avenue. Based on our investigation, Stevenson was identified as one of the two shooting suspects responsible for the deaths of Shanice Keel, Joshua Alford, and Lanisha Northington, and the shooting of three others after a party that occurred in San Leandro at 2661 Colorado Street on October 2nd, 2011. Uh, we have actively worked this investigation consistently since the shooting occurred, and we have developed substantial information that led us to Stevenson. Even though we have arrested one person, uh, there is still one suspect who is still outstanding. He's described as a black male uh, wearing a black or dark colored uh, sweatshirt. We are still actively looking for information for him, and the city of San Leandro is offering a $10,000 reward um, to the person that assists us with finding him that will ultimately lead to his arrest and conviction. <clears throat> because this is still an, an, an active investigation, there are certain parts of this investigation that we're not going to discuss here, uh, but I'm open to uh, uh, any questions. But before I take those, I definitely want to say thank you to the Oakland Police Department for their assistance this morning. Um, and any questions? Did he offer any uh, resistance during the arrest? No, he did not. Was it a tip from the public that, that led you to Mr. Stevenson? Uh, there were several tips from various sources within the community to the, uh, the public as well as other law enforcement agencies. Sergeant, can you talk about any motive for driving this and or the other suspect to fire was it randomly targeted one or two or three of these victims? At this point, we're not going to uh, discuss uh, motive uh, just because it's still an active investigation and I don't want to jeopardize it. I know you put out another suspect uh, image a couple weeks ago or a week ago or so. Uh, is this the same guy in that image, or is this the, or was that an image of the second suspect? Uh, we believe this is the image or the picture of the person that we put the sketch out for. What do you know about the other guy? Only that he is a uh, black male in dark clothing. That's all the information we have right now. And is your suspect talking about him? Uh, at that point, we're not going to discuss this that part of the investigation just because it's still active, it's ongoing. And it's uh, there's some new information that's being constantly worked on and developed, and we just don't want to go uh, down that road yet. Has a weapon been recovered? Uh, once again, we're not going to discuss that part of the investigation. Do we know if this is gang related at all, or are you looking at it like it could be? Uh, at this point, we have not been uh, been able to determine if there's any gang involvement in this whatsoever. Uh, but we have not ruled that out yet. Do we know how the suspect have a record? Uh, Yes, he does. Can you give us some detail? No, not at this time. Is he a juvenile? He is not a juvenile. He's 21 years old. But you said 20, 20 or 20? Sorry, 20 years old. 20 years old. 20 years old. Did you pick him up on a rainy PC warrant only, or is, has he already been charged through the DA or not yet? Uh, there was a search warrant for his house, and we had a rainy warrant for his arrest. What led you to him? Uh, just facts developed within the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'm not going to disclose all the sources that we had, but they were law enforcement related as well as uh, uh, tips we had from the community that led us in this direction. So what is a tattoo party? From our understanding, a tattoo party was where um, some young, young adults came to get an actual tattoo from some up-and-coming tattoo artists within the Bay Area. Um, and that's all really the information we have about this tattoo party. Do we know how many people were at this tattoo party? Uh, we believe in excess of 100. An exact number we don't know. And do you know if this suspect and the un unknown subject were there throughout the party or just came in afterwards and opened fire? Uh, that we do not know. Were there any disruptions during the party? Were there any fights or disturbances? Uh, from the reports that we were getting, there were no fights during the party itself. Do you know, were they talking to someone specifically inside the SUV? And if so, do you know who that is? Uh, at this point, we're not going to disclose that information, just because it's just such a new investigation. Is this first tattoo party at this location? As far as we know. Does we only have 100 people come to a tattoo party or a tattoo party? 
This is the first time I've ever heard of a taxi party, so I don't know if that's a normal size or not. Do you have any indication what the DA is going to charge on this? I do not. Well, what's your recommendation? Well, our recommendation was going to be uh, three counts of murder, four counts of attempted murder at the very least. What degree? Uh, I believe that's going to be something that the DA uh, will have to decide. You said four counts of attempted murder? Yes. There were three other shooting suspects that were, where's the fourth? Where's the... There was a seven, we, through our investigation we learned that there was a seventh person actually in the back area of the fourth floor who uh, uh, ran out, he was not shot, uh, ran away from the scene and they were able to identify him. So there's actually seven people in the fourth floor. And you're saying that this is the man who you earlier released as the person of interest who had dreadlocks and, and bling and so forth? Yes, sir. And confirming, uh, does he live in the 1900 block 21st Avenue Ocean, or is that an associate's or friend's or relative or something? And at this point, we're just not going to release that information. Okay, and generally, are we saying he's from Oakland or San Leandro? He is an Oakland resident. Give a message for the second suspect. Uh, the only message that I'd like to get out is that the investigation is not over. We are still actively looking um, and uh, looking for the second suspect. Um, and this is an active investigation. So, I'm sorry, were all the victims in this case found in the same vehicle? Is that? There was only one vehicle involved. Uh, the three uh, persons who passed away were inside the vehicle. There were two shooting ve uh, victims inside the vehicle. And then two others, one self-transported himself to the hospital after shooting occurred, and this other one we just recently discovered who was in the back seat. Yeah, but did you ever specify what he used for a weapon? Did you ever specify the weapon he used? We have not specified a caliber to the best of my knowledge, and we're not going to release that information just yet. Do more than one shooter as far as you know? As far as we know, yes. And same question answered differently. Confirming weapons from two different types, or maybe two different weapons were found. Can you describe, you can't describe the type or caliber? There were two different weapons, but we're not going to describe the caliber. So and two again, shooters. yes, two shooters. And again, you were all seven persons in or around the one SUV. They were inside the car at the time of the shooting. All seven persons were inside the SUV. Yes. Were they targeted? At this point, we don't know. Uh, we still don't know why the shooting occurred. I don't know if one person in the car was targeted, if it was random, or not. Uh, we just don't have that information yet. Could it have been a little case of mistaken identity? We don't know. We just don't have, we don't have any reason uh, at this point or motive for why this shooting occurred. We're still working on it. 